Hi, in this video today I want to show you how you can fix a Honeywell 7 day programmer. The problem with this one here is the display has completely gone. So when I hit the buttons the bag light's working but there's nothing displaying here and it's a very common problem on these ones. Basically the screen is attached to the circuit board with a little ribbon cable and the adhesive's gone on that cable. So we're going to use a soldering iron to melt the adhesive back so hopefully it will make a, a connection again. The problem is, is that you can't do it at a high temperature. We're going to be using 200 degrees Celsius, any more than that, and it's very likely that you will melt the ribbon cable. Even at that temperature, you have to keep moving the iron very quickly. There's other ways that people can sometimes fix them, using hot air, hair dryers, putting them on a toaster and stuff, but we're gonna to try to get straight on to the ribbon cable itself. So we're gonna take the batteries out. And I'm gonna put pressure down at the bottom here while trying to lift up the top. So there's a little tab here and here. So I'm just pushing this in here just to try to put some pressure on it. Right, so that side's out there now. And that side's out there now. Now we have four catches here, 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 and here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure on the screen at the front and hold in the rest of it here. Right, they're loose and there's two little posts here that we need to lift it up quite straight from. It's a bit fiddly this, but if you try to lift that bit up there, then it will pop out like so. Now we need to take the screen off. So I'm just going to uh, use my thumbs and push in these little catches here, here, and also up the top. And that will lift up via these pins. So I'm just going to gently ease up on here. There we go, we are now free. I want to take the plastic away from the screen. This here is the cable that's gone faulty. So we're gonna to try to lift up the screen from here because we need to we need to flip it open to get to here so we can try to melt the adhesive again. But it will be attached on this side down here. And I'm just gonna use a plastic pry tool just to go in here. There we go. Right, let's zoom in. This is the cable here that we wanna deal with. So let's have a look if we can visually see where it's gone. Well, I think it's gone here. Can you see how it's lifted here? I think it might have gone on this part here. So I'm just gonna rub the soldering iron up and down here, and also I'm gonna do it here, but I've gotta keep it moving and I can't go hotter than 200 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna do this one here as well, being careful not to melt this little diffuser. This is where the backlight comes in. So the LED's here and it diffuses all along here. So I'm just gonna go on the very top bit. Now this might take a few attempts. Right, I think we should try that. If it doesn't work, we can then go over it again. Right, just to make life easy for myself, I've got my bench power supply here, rather than putting it all back together. And I can see that this is positive and this is negative. So this is three volts. Well, there you go, look at that, it's come back to life. So you can see there, that's looking pretty clear. Excellent, so we just needed a little bit of heat to uh, remelt the adhesive so that the ribbon cable could make a contact again because it had just come a little bit loose because the adhesive, I presume, dries up over the, uh, over the years. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get this back together. Right, with this one here, when you do this, you just hook it on from the top like that and then it hinges down like that.
there we go and it's sprung back into life again so hopefully that will work for many years to come if you've done another technique that's worked then put it down in the comments below if you've done this technique and it's worked for you again put it down in the comments below hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching